In this episode of Making Websites with October CMS, we are going to be talking about permissions. This has been a highly requested episode, so people obviously want to know how you can limit other people from touching your site. So you obviously already have a super user on your site because you installed October, but, but maybe you want to have a content manager. So you don't want that content manager to be able uh, to uh, touch your settings or your templates or your partials and so on. So you want to limit uh, things they can do on your site. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can do just that in October CMS. So to test these permissions out, we would actually need another user, but you don't want to go to users. If you have the users plugin installed, you actually want to go to settings and then to administrators. So we want to uh, limit our certain administrators access to our site. So first of all, I'm going to manage groups. So groups are something like roles, uh, but they're called groups in uh, October CMS. So if we go to groups, you already see, you can see that you have the owners group and we are going to create a new group called editors. Okay, so this group is called editors. Now, uh, as you can see, every plugin uh, most of the plug plugins actually uh, in October CMS have specific set of rules. So we have uh, the blog installed and now as you can see, you can allow or deny the users in that group to do something with the blog. So uh, do you want to allow them to import an expert post? No. Uh, do you want to manage other users blog posts? No. Uh, manage the blog categories, okay. So the editors can publish posts and manage blog posts. Okay, so now we allow them to do that. Let's click create. As you can see, we don't have anything for movies or actors or anything like that. We, are cre we will create those permissions in this video. Uh, but for now, let's go to administrators and create a new administrator and I'm going to call this one editor. And it's going, uh, that editor is going to go into editors group. We can create it. Uh, so the password is not right. Let's try it again. Okay, so now we have an editor created. Uh, as you can see, you have two tabs right here, account and permissions. And now you have another set of permissions, uh, the same ones as for the groups, but these ones are specifically for that specific user. So uh, by default, they're going to inherit all of the permissions from the group th those users are in. But if for some reason you have you want to have a user called John and he's an editor, but you want that specific user to be able to import an expert post, you would just click this or you maybe don't want him to manage uh, blog posts, uh, you would just do that. And that's it. So these permissions are for this specific user. OK, uh, we will leave everything to inherit. So everything is going to be inherit, uh, inherited from the editors group. We will save this and that's it. As I said before, as you can see, we don't have anything for our plugin here. Uh, so we are going to create those permissions. But first of all, let's just test this out to see how it works. So I'm going to go to this incognito window and I'm going to log in as editor. And now you can see that I can add new blog posts, categories, I can do anything I want in movies, which is not that uh, good. And I can click on settings, but I don't get any settings to play with. So this is the way the most basic permissions work in October. Now we're, we are going to create permissions for our movies and I'm going to sh later on show you how you can fine grain those permissions. 
Okay, so let's create permissions for the movies. So let's say we don't want editors to be able to add or do anything to the movies. So the simplest way would be to just go to Builder. We can go to Builder, uh, select a plugin, Movies, okay. And now you have these permissions right here. So if I click on permissions, you enter permission code. And I'm going to call this code something like manage movies. You can add whatever name you want. It must be a unique name. So you would probably want to write something like uh, so watch learn that movies dot uh, the name of the permission. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to call this manage movies. Okay. Uh, the top title is going to be uh, that. Uh, section uh, which uh, under which these permissions display so i'm going to call this movies and the label for this is going to be movies actually manage movies okay save this and now if we go to settings administrators uh, manage groups and we go to editors we will have movies and then we would have manage movies. So we can allow or deny editors to manage movies. But if I click this or unclick this, nothing is actually going to happen uh, because uh, if you go right here, as you can see, managing movies is denied for, uh, for editors, but they can still manage them. So nothing actually happened. Uh, to make this work, you would have to go to Builder. You would go to the backend menu and you would just click on Movies. And as you can see, you have permissions right here. If I click on it, uh, you get Manage Movies. OK, click this. So uh, the users that have Manage Movies permission will be able to see this actual link to manage those movies. So if I click this, save it. And remember, we didn't add allow to the editors to be able to uh, manage movies. If we go right here now, as you can see, no movies are present. You can't even click on that. But if I go to settings, administrators, manage groups and then to editors and click allow on manage movies uh, and save it of course now if i refresh this page i will get movies right and now you can uh, manage those movies also you can do something like so let's say uh, we want to fine grain this a bit and uh, we want to make special permissions for the genre uh, genres or actors so I can just go to the builder and I can create a new permission called manage genres and the tab title is also going to be movies and this is going to be manage genres okay we save this and now if i refresh this uh, actually we didn't go to backend menu uh, click on genres permissions okay save this refresh it and now we don't have genres right here so this is great. This is the way you would create special permissions for your plugins. Now I'm going to show you how you can fine grain this even a bit more. So this is going to be a bit more complicated, uh, just a little bit. We are going to have to touch the code for it, but it works. So let's say that uh, you want to create a special permission uh, for deleting movies. So maybe you want to um, allow your editors to add movies, but not to delete them. 
So as you can see, we have this button called delete selected. If I select everything and click delete selected, I'm going to be able to delete all of the movies. Now, I'm going to go to the builder, go to permissions and create a new permission called delete movies. It's going to be under movies tab title. And it's going to be called delete movies. Okay, so now as you can see, we don't have any special way to say from administration or from the back end uh, to October, okay, I don't want those users to, users to be uh, able to delete the movies because we don't have any special buttons right here that we can click on and uh, set those permissions. So we would have to do that in our code editor, which is not a problem for us because we are developers. So we are going to go to my code editor and if you go to plugins and go to watch learn uh, movies and then you go to controllers, you will see those controllers right here. So we have controllers for the movies and as you can see, they're very nicely named. So you have create, this is going to be your create page. Uh, you have your index page, the preview page, reorder page, uh, update page, and also you have these partials right here called list toolbar and reorder tool toolbar. So if I click on list toolbar, you will see something <coughs> interesting right here. So that toolbar is actually, uh, if we go to movies, that toolbar is this. So you have create and delete. So uh, for creating the movies, uh, this is it. So this is uh, the, that link. And for deleting movies, you have this button. Okay. So if I delete that button, save it and refresh this page, you don't have delete selected anymore. Okay. Uh, but of course, we don't want to delete it because then the super user wouldn't uh, also be able to delete the movies. Uh, what you actually want to do if you want <coughs> to uh, set an if condition right here and say to October, okay, so if the current user have, has the permission to delete the movies, then display these buttons. Uh, if he doesn't have permission to uh, delete the movies, then don't display that button. And that's it. So how would we do that? We would do that by doing PHP. So if so if this user has access to delete movies, so delete movies is actually if we go to builder, permissions. So this is that code, right? Delete movies. And you can call that code wherever you want. So if that user has access to delete movies, then display this button. And that's it. So you just put it right here. Save this. Of course, since we are super user, we already we have this button, we have permission to access everything. And that's all well and good. But if I go right here and refresh this page, as you can see, I don't have delete movies button. So you would probably have to do the same thing on your <coughs> uh, update page. So there is a submit button on a save button. And this is the delete button. So you would have to put the same condition around this here. Okay, so if I go to a specific movie, you will see that I don't have any delete icon right here. But if I go as a super user, you would see this trash can right here uh, with which I can delete that movie. And that's it. So this is the way you would create some very uh, general permissions for October CMS. And uh, this is the way you would create some fine grain permissions. Of course, if we want to add, uh, 
if we want to allow this user to delete movies, then we would just go to settings, administrators, uh, manage groups, editors, and then we would have delete movies right here and we can allow it, save it. And now this user will be able to delete the movies. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, please let me know. But I think this is enough to make pretty much any kind of permission you want in October CMS for your plugins. Okay, so this is it for this video, guys. Everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, you can maybe subscribe to it. Also, you can ask me questions on Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, uh, YouTube, and so on. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.